On this foggy morning in downtown Denver, I am taking my first ever Zipcar experience. While I'm walking there, I thought I would talk about what Zipcar is. So you get a little card in the mail from Zipcar. You sign up online. It's like $6 a month, and then you can sign up for the insurance for $9 a month, $15 a month total. You pay a one-time fee I did of $25. The first month's going to be $40, and then it's $15 a month after that, including the insurance. So then if you want to drive a zip car then depending on which car you get they have different costs close by to me there's a pickup truck a pt cruiser a mini cooper and i opted for the mini cooper this morning so i'm going to go check it out well, here i am at 15th and stout in denver there's the pickup and I think that I have this little Mini Cooper right here. I've never driven a Mini, so this should be a fun experience. I think you do a quick walk around of the car just to make sure that everything is good. And you're supposed to report any damage when you first get it. And a nice product endorsement there on the side of the vehicle, but all looks good. So let's see what we do to get into our tour car right here. There we go, I hold it right up here. By scanning there, it lets me into the vehicle. The door's just unlocked. So here we go. So I had to put this little key ring into the little slot here to get it to start and then press the button and we are off to go drive a zip car for the first time. Hi, this is me. And uh, driving here in downtown Denver, well not actually driving because I'm holding up the camera. Uh, the car drives great. I'm having a good experience so far. Uh, it's fun to drive this little Mini. Uh, I've never driven a Mini Cooper, so it's a fun little drive to have this. And the light is green, so here I go. After getting my groceries here, uh, it looks like Zipcar's actually put a little plastic shovel and a snow brush in here as well. So that's really good to know when you do a Zipcar. You've got those things in the car as well. One of the nice things about driving with Zipcar as well is that they pay for the gas. And so I have this little gas card above the visor here so that when I need to fill up, or pretty much you should always fill up, I think at the end of driving with Zipcar, I think it's just nice to leave more gas for the next person driving the car. So, but they give you this gas card and then you go to the gas station uh, using their gas card. So in some cases, depending on how much you drive or how little you drive, I think Zipcar would actually be a more affordable option than maybe even owning your own car if you're an infrequent driver. So something to consider uh, as part of driving Zipcar or being a Zipster, I guess, as they call it, uh, is what they say when you are a person using Zipcar, you are a Zipster. They also have the option for a stereo plug. So this didn't work with my phone. I tried plugging it into my phone and I couldn't listen through it even though I switched through the modes here. But I did uh, was able to listen to the satellite radio and that was great. So I think this might work with an iPhone or an iPod. It didn't work with my Galaxy phone though. Overall, I would say that this was a good experience with Zipcar. I enjoyed it and I would pretty much recommend it to anybody. The only complaint I might have is that it took a while to get my card, like three days. That's really the only complaint I have to offer. It took three days to get my card. So I really recommend it. If you would like to try out Zipcar, I'll put a link somewhere around the video here and really recommend you give it a shot. I enjoyed it and think you probably will too. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.